Uganda's ranking in the Stanbic Bank ATB has declined from position 4 in September 2022 to position 8. The Stanbic Bank Africa Trade Barometer analyzes trade trends in 10 African countries, including Uganda. The report assesses Uganda's performance across seven thematic areas. Although there is optimism about Uganda's economy, the country's business confidence score of 57 is slightly below the market average, according to the barometer, of 58. We, we came across some uniqueness on the different um, sides of the corridor. So for the Kenya, their, their major problem is the liquidity of the dollar. It's, it's really a challenge for them, which is not a challenge for Uganda. But on the side of Uganda, the traders are asking are on a reduction in the customs, that the taxes that we're paying are really high, and then this makes them very unfavorable on the market as they're trying to sell their goods. Uganda is a signatory to the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, and despite awareness of the agreement among Ugandan businesses increasing from 23% in September 2022 to 33% in May 2023, access to credit still appears to be a challenge for businesses with perception of difficulty rising from 42% in September 2022 to 49% in May 2023. There, there is a, a concern around the compliance environment. So we are uh, under central bank regulation. So elements around compliance, uh, are you registered? Are you paying your taxes? Um, do you have a trading license? Do you, are you operating in a, a, a normal way, in the right way? That's, that's a non-starter, especially if you're dealing with a financial institution. So even for us, that's completely outside of our control. We must get our SMEs to be registered, pay their taxes, get their trading licenses, file their returns and the like. Access to information remains a hindrance to business growth in Uganda, and the report suggests that both government and the private sector ought to collaborate to address the gaps and support Uganda's role in intra-Africa trade. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News.